Oh, that's a cool tree. Check that out. How it looks in the light. Hello, folks. This is Kevin. Again, I am on my very first solo camp. And um, if you've seen my previous videos, you've known that I have been for here skiing in winter. And uh, this time I'm looking for a different experience. So let's see how it goes today. Um, I watched all the YouTube videos. I've got managed to get some gear. And now I'm going to put it to the test. And uh, so far I have camped all of twice this year. And uh, that's the limit of my experience. So uh, I expect it will be a really steep learning curve. We'll see how it goes. I'm a big fan of the Trangia. Um, I like the stability of the of the base. And yes, it's a lot bigger than most of the cook systems that the YouTube hikers use, but it, yeah, I don't care. I like having two pots, and I like the gas burner, so I'm going to stick with the Trangia for now. This is the uh, 25 UL, which is the slightly larger version, and so. Uh, while I've been practicing using this, it's been quite nice to go out with my wife and dog and cook lunch for the two of us. It isn't heavy as such, it's just a little bit on the bulky side. But as I say, uh, the stability of it on the ground is very unlikely, apart from kicking it over, that you would actually it would topple. And it has, of course, the wind wind shelter built in. Did he take off? Let's see. Nope. There's a thing in Finland, actually, when it comes to uh, wild camping that uh, maybe we don't have in Ireland. And uh, it's called in Finnish Joka Miehen Oikios, uh, or in Swedish uh, Almans Ret. And uh, it translates something like uh, every man's right. And what that basically means is that uh, people can, within certain restrictions, people can camp or collect berries or uh, walk in woods uh, without permission. Yeah, it, it basically means you can go where you want and you can camp where you want. But it also comes back to the thing that, you know, you go, you be respectful. And, you know, as a lot of people do, I've seen from the Irish videos as well, uh, Irish hiker videos, it's like, yeah, you go there, you don't make an arse of yourself. And, uh, of course, then you leave no trace. So you don't give landowners any... Mm, good cause or reason to actually stop the activity and therefore it doesn't ruin it for everybody else so i think that's a uh, quite a good common sense approach and one thing that i really like about living in finland so i just found out that there's a geocache about 80 meters away so i'll go for a little stroll in the dark Let's see if i can find this uh, this geocache Okay, hopefully there's a pen in there because I don't have one with me. Let's see, let's see. And there is a log. But no pen, unfortunately. Let's see. So, the last person to find this was... 24. Night twenty two the eighth of October. I'm all tucked up now and ready for sleep, although I'll probably isn't an audio book or something before I before I doze off. Um it's quite warm. 
a little nice little tip I got from a friend of mine, Finnish friend of mine, was to put when I was making tea to put boiling water into a into a sig bottle. Get the pressure off every now and again. But then you uh it's it's almost too hot to the touch and I filled it maybe ooh, an hour ago. So it's probably a good idea not to put it directly against the thermal rest mat. Mm, just in case it melts it. But I put it into a woolly sock. I put the whole thing deep down into the sock and I put it inside my sleeping quilt and this uh quilt liner, it's this uh it's called Cedar Summit uh, Extreme Reactor, Reactor Light, something or other. I don't know. It's supposed to add an extra 15 degrees of heat. Could well be overkill because outside it's maybe 8 degrees. So it's not super cold. As you can see, I've got my t-shirt on and I don't feel cold. So, um, yeah, I think I should be quite, quite snug here tonight. There's rain forecast for the night. Fairly heavy rain and also in the morning. But... Um, yeah, I should be actually fine here. Uh, I've noticed with the Cairngorm, Bango Cairngorm 100, there's not a huge amount of room in the vestibule for cooking gear and my rucksack and boots and bits and pieces. It's a, it's a fairly snug fit. It's kind of a minimal, shall we say. And moving around inside the tent, I'm still getting used to the whole... Uh, what seems to be still uh, quite confined space, but I guess I'll get used to that with time. Um, yeah, it's uh, certainly cozy. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to get my head down and uh, hopefully sleep okay tonight. My first night solo, proper camping. So, uh, yeah. Wish me luck. Hopefully I get to sleep some. I'm not super tired yet, but uh, who knows? It might catch up with me today. So, oh, See you in the morning. Signing out. Good night. Good morning. Yeah, I slept quite well last night. First night officially camping in the wild. Yay. Yeah. No, it was good. It was good. I slept fairly well. Uh, it was warm. The Thermo Air, what's it called? Neo Air X Therm seemed to work quite well. And uh, as did my quilt and my uh, is this liner, sleeping bag liner thing from Sea to Summit. So yeah, that kept me quite quite warm. Um, didn't really have any cold, cold spots. Oh, excuse me. I didn't really have any cold spots, but uh, my head was cold a few times and then I put my hat on so uh, actually it was grand oh, oh that's good you got some of this travel food you just add hot water to anyway i'm a bit of an agent because i thought this was porridge and uh yeah, turns out it was muesli but i added hot water to it anyway so now i'm going to have hot muesli for breakfast um, i put in a big dollop of peanut butter as well to see if i could make it a bit more interesting because i'm not really a i'm not really a porridge fan Sure. It's hot and actually quite creamy looking, doesn't it? Well, it looks like what it is hot muesli, but um, it is quite creamy, so it might be all right. Leave no trace, as they say. A few scuff marks, but other than that, you'd never know I had been there.
Cool. Well, that was a success, I would say. Let's go. My thoughts after my first night officially solo camping. Um, yeah, there's a lot to learn, and I learned a lot last night. Uh, I can manage 14 kilos quite nicely, at least for short distances so far. I need to build up my hiking stamina. Getting set up took rather longer than I thought it would. Um, so getting packed up wasn't too bad once I got my ass out of bed and started moving. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, as I said last night, I'm still getting used to the confines of the tent. It seems a little bit cramped to me, and I find myself sitting and kneeling in for extended periods of time in positions that I wouldn't normally be in, so it'll take me a while to get used to that. It wasn't too bad though, my knees are fine, nothing to sore. I'm very satisfied with my new sleep system. It was warm as toast. Uh, admittedly, it wasn't that cold though, it was like maybe got down to about six degrees last night, but uh, cold wasn't an issue, so that was nice. Um, yeah. I suppose one big takeaway is uh, the amount of time things take. Like in your head you think, okay, I'll park the car in such and such a place and I'll walk and okay, on the map it's that far. It'll take me 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something like that. Um, and also, I'll probably find a pitch once I get there. So, yeah, maybe... The realization that lack of preparation means more time actually in the field. Uh, obviously you can't prepare for everything and sometimes it's good to go I guess extempore as long as it's not too extreme but uh, yeah um, preparation seems to be key so and sometimes stuff just takes time. Um, of course the upside of maybe camping this time of year is that well once it gets dark, you've got it all night pretty much, so you've got actually time to, you know, tweak this or fiddle with that or whatever. Uh, because, yeah, there's uh, not much else you can do. Except, of course, if uh, you've got some geocaches nearby and then you can go and have a, a little explore in the darkness, but with a good head touch. So... Yeah, all in all, I had a blast, and I'm looking forward to my next hiking and camping adventure. So, I'll say farewell here, and uh, uh, as they say in Finland, moi moi, take care, bye bye.